Harmonica. If uh, you're new to it or you haven't already, thumbs up and subscribe. Looking at On Broadway today by the fantastic uh, George Benson. Um, and check his work out. Absolutely wonderful. Great jazz player. Great commercial artist as well. He was uh, had his, uh, um, a figure in all pies, really. Brilliant player. Um, on Broadway. Now, I use this tune extensively. I used it back in the 80s. So it's, I'm going to do an anecdote on this on my next podcast. So if you Look that up when I when I get it out. I'll I'll, uh, I'll talk about this and probably learn something about Broadway from that. When I hooked up with a, a New York saxophone player and the two of us, I was a saxophonist at the time, and um, how we utilise this particular tune in all keys. Now this is not necessary to do this on blue sap, although as advanced players we do do this, um, but it's not necessary to do that. And the way that uh, George puts these little uh, chromatic shifts. I think his original one goes A flat to uh, A flat to A to B flat, finishes in B flat, and one of his other albums he does it slightly different. Here I've done it going from sort of like as if we were going from F F sharp, and then I'm starting in playing in second position where we're starting. All right. So if you don't really understand too much of that, don't worry about it because it's it's not that really important. So. Grab a piece of paper and a pen just in case you ain't got a B flat harp and uh, you'll be able to just put these things down. So one draw, three draw, uh, use three blow and then three draw, four bend. That's one draw, three draw, uh, three blow or two draw, use three blow there to three draw, four bend. Then four draw to three draw. To two draw, to two draw, full bend. Then three draw, two draw. Three draw, that's three draw, two draw, one draw. Okay. Then, it's the same thing again, slightly different at the ending. So after the two draw, full bend, this time round, Play a three draw and a two draw. Okay, a little fast here, but you can modern technology. You can go back over the YouTube video. All right. So that's that. Now there is a chord change. Now 
you're basically playing that in second position. And then the chord change, it shifts into first position. All right. So one draw, four, what, excuse me, sorry. One blow, four blow, three blow or two draw. It's a three draw half step bend. Four draw, four blow. Uh, you can use three blow there. Uh, that's two draw to three draw half step bend or three blow to two three draw half step bend. Then one blow, four blow again. Uh, to two draw, three draw half step bend. And the last bit. Four blow, four draw bend, four draw. Then it goes back to the other one and momentarily there you're dropping into third position on that four blow four draw bend four draw so basically you've got a blues you really you're really modulating you're really modulating you're sort of going there's like a modulation going from second position to 12 so I've, you two draw and you're dropping down to two draw full bend so you're shooting just dropping down there into 12th position if you're not familiar with 12th position this stage don't worry too much that can be something for the future but you feel that when you go onto onto the um, when you drop it down then um, obviously then you go into first position and then that momentarily brings you into third position Okay, so that is basically um, broadly. That's the, you know, and then obviously you can you can there's various ways to go about it. I play it my way. Um, some people play it different ways. Uh, everybody's way is good, of course. Now, so and with this tune, the way that George has done it, it sort of goes up through a couple of semitones, and he finishes in say B flat. He goes A flat A to B flat. Or he goes up. He goes up say from three draw if you don't talk that way three draw uh, full bend and a half to three draw full bend to three draw half step bend that's where he finishes up so he plays the whole thing as if he was playing it you know in in, in the a flat in a bend and a half then he plays the whole thing through as if he's playing in the position of um, fourth position which is um, a full bend on a and then he finishes in uh, b flat you see what I mean? I'm, I'm just thinking if people want to see how I'm just trying to see how it gets complicated so, but we tend to do that, and it's a, uh, that's something that advanced players do because we we play in all, all keys. But it's not necessary, and the punter, the listener, is not really concerned with that shift. All they want to know is is this kind of thing, and this shift. They want that other the other shifts just a uh, kind of a musician thing really to shift you into different keys now if you're a little bit more advanced what you can do is there I've played the whole thing in another position a position that you're probably fairly familiar with some of you which is third position so I'll put it into third position. But in that position, you, there's a couple of maybe a little bit more challenging notes that the, the guys who are just starting out might not be uh, there yet. You'll get there, but um, so that's why I'm not probably going to coach that today. Um, but that was the, that's the next way. And you can actually use that position as a shift once you've played everything this way. And then shift from here, the whole thing in second and then the whole thing in third. So you can do it. You can do it both ways. So you can see it's not necessary to do all these things, but um, moving to the third position and then playing the whole thing is, uh, if you can get those other couple of notes, um, I don't want to talk about them now. Then it's um, it, that's a good shift to do for this harmonica. But it, uh, it's a heck of a challenge to play in all keys, and um, you want access to um, to the chords. And I think that's that's the main thing. And that's what regulates you. And also, um, 
your overdraws and overblows to get them at speed, unless you want to spend half your life trying to set them up uh, when it's not necessary to do so. But this is fairly straight ahead if you play it like that. And as I said before, you know, the, uh, the person listening, they just want the basic shifts of what's going on. They're not too concerned with um, these other little shifts. It's kind of a musician's workout than anything else. All right, so um, so back on with that, and um, I may blow out at the end here. Um, I just got to work out which uh, hearts haven't blown. I've been fortunate this last year, so you know, two reads. Sometimes you can go ages without. Uh, I'll see if I've got one to, to blow out at the end, and have a go with the tune. It's a great vehicle for all sorts of uh, reasons. This so, um, and you can uh, work as you've seen there. And I do a lot of coaching on this with guys who have been able to um, formulate your licks or approximate your licks, okay? Uh, my advice would be um, don't take licks out of books. Never go that way. Um, but I would mention on coaching lessons. It's okay for some people, but, um, you know, there's uh, a lot of reasons for that. Okay, so stay safe out there, enjoy playing the harp, and as always, I'll catch you on rebound. They say that I won't last too long on Broadway. I'll catch a Greyhound bus home is what they'll say. They do wrong, I know they are. I can play this harmonica. And I won't quit till I'm a star on Broadway. On broad, broad, Broadway. Dun dun da da da. Dun da 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 da. Da 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 da. Dun 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 da